When Kentucky needed a new head football coach following a recruiting scandal in the early 2000s, some of the players took matters into their own hands. When everything went down with uh, Hal Mummy, myself and Derek Smith, and there was one other guy, I think um, we went, uh, we went to talk to Larry Ivey, had a private meeting with him. We said, man, you know, if we have a saying that we want uh, Gab Morris to be our coach, just because of the respect we have for Gab. Respect he had earned as one of their assistants for several years, also earned it on the field, where he carved out a highly successful 15-year NFL career. Then once he got the job here, Guy Morris did what most thought would be impossible. In his second year after inheriting a scandal, he had a winning season. When you consider the mess that was happening, with everything going on when he took over, I thought he did a really good job. But he couldn't come to terms on a contract extension beyond 2002, so he went to his native Texas to coach Baylor, a move Cutler was not convinced he wanted to make. He couldn't stand leaving Kentucky. If he had his druthers, there is no doubt he never would have left here. So when it was time to call it a career on the college level, he came back and rolled up his sleeves with a few high school teams that he'd worked with during the season. He loved the game that much. Just recently, he attended the UK Fan Fest, snapping this picture with coach Mark Stoops. And director of athletics Mitch Barnhart offered this, quote, Guy Morris offered steady leadership for our football program at a time of significant uncertainty. He was both liked and respected by the players who responded to his fair, no-nonsense approach with their best efforts, end quote. He was able to do that without ever wavering on what made him the person they'll all miss. How many times have we seen people who started in the Super Bowl was a big-time coach who have this huge ego. Guy didn't have an ego. Guy was a regular guy. He was defined as a good person, a good father figure to his kids, and uh, just a good down-to-earth man. Uh, we were friends. Uh, I will personally miss him. And he won't be the only one. Far from it, it seems. In Lexington, Michael Burke, LEX 18 News.